Let's go into some teams that lost. I think this will be interesting because these are some big names that lost. All right. Stuck, scary, or skilled? They are the Bengals, the Packers, and the Ravens. Which team is stuck? Which team is still scary despite losing? And which team is skilled? All right. All right let's, start, let's start with the stuck. <laughs> yeah. Let's start with the stuck. One, right. I think two, yeah, two be the same. three. three. Packers. Packers. Okay. Wait, John, what did you say? I said Packers. And then Jonathan, you said Packers? Yeah. Okay. You said Packers too? I said Bengals. Oh, shoot. (laughs) Okay. Well, so we disagree again on the stuck team. I didn't plan this. I thought, I think (laughs) think that, I mean, Jonathan and I, I think for the same reason, because Jordan Love's going to be out for a month. It's yeah. going to be tough for them. It, not to say that they can't still win the division or make the playoffs, but it's it just makes it a lot more difficult. That's not an injury that just you know after four weeks goes away. He's still yeah. going to have to deal with it. It's still something that's going to happen throughout the season. So out yeah. of those three teams, I, I guess I have the least faith in them. Yeah, yeah. I, I respect the Packers pick because I, I, you know, uh, I, they still put up a ton. They actually put the, you know what. They put up the most points in their division, but were the only team that lost. I think. Like, I think the next closest they, they were they scored twenty nine points, and the next closest was twenty eight, which is not it's one point difference. But you know what I mean? Like they still offensively scored a lot of points. Him being out is a big part. But I don't know. Maybe maybe it's like my Cowboys answer. We're big picture. The Bengals are stuck again. But it's same thing with Love, where it's going to be an injury that might nag him a little bit. There were still rumors that in the Bengals training camp, he was still dealing with some of the wrist injury that he had. And that's like over a year, you know, not over a year, but how many times do the Bengals need to start? They haven't won their debut game in like four, you know, how, they went through so many seasons where it's going to be the same stuff, you know, inefficient football for the first few weeks. And then they, then they cook it up. I think they're kind of stuck. Whatever they've been doing over there in Cincinnati, that's just not getting them that win right away. It's like, I kind of would bet on the Packers' defense and the talent they have to be able to do it. I also think, I mean, the, the Packers are legit. I think Love has shown it, but a lot of people were coming off of the high of like the Packers and Texans making it to the playoffs, being better than anyone expected, to then overcorrecting to the start of the season, where I think it'll become more ground level reality and they'll get better as the season goes on once he comes back. But I just feel like the Bengals is the same story, and it's like if it's the same story. Then they're not going to go as deep as the playoffs. Like if Jordan Love coming back might still put them in a position to win, if it, if it came down to Love and the Packers at health, and Bengals at health. But okay, interesting. Yeah, and I I've hurt my MCL before. I was running back in high school senior year. Oh, I yeah. my MCL, so I, I sprained it as well. And yeah. so, uh, yeah, it's basically going to be there for the for the season. And Jordan Love, part of his game is running and being mobile, and so I think he's going to struggle even if he does come back. And so, yeah, that's why I agree with John. Despite him just being out for a month, even when he comes back, it's not going to be easy for him to to win games, in my opinion. So that's why I have him as stuck. Okay, let's go to our let's let's both let's go around and say our scary and skilled, so that way it's easier for a cut to cut. Because then if okay. we give one of them, it's going to give the other one, right? I'll I'll, I'll start. Um, scary, I think. I think the Ravens are still scaried, still scary. And the Packers are skilled. Jonathan, you could go next. Okay. I also think the Ravens are scary. And I think the Bengals are skilled. I think the Bengals are scary and the Ravens are skilled. Really? Yeah. Really? So, wait, Interesting. I, know, I said they're I know that's You a, said they're scary. I know that's... Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, let All me right, why? let me defend it because yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you guys are sitting there and you're like, John, the Bengals suck again. Look, <laughs> the Bengals, it was with Joe Burrow, they're mm-hmm. one and eight in week one and week two in the last four, now five seasons. They <laughs> are terrible in the first two weeks. And honestly, next week, they're going to lose as well. Guess who they play the next next week? Chiefs. Um. <laughs> so that's that's a loss. I already know that. But get, what yeah. I'm saying is that I still have more faith in the Bengals to go deep in the playoffs than the Ravens. Then you might be thinking, well, John, how is that possible? The Ravens went to the AFC Championship game last year. From what I saw against the Chiefs, it was a good team, but it's not great. I mean, likely played well. Derrick Henry was good, not great. I think at the end of the year, it's going to be between the Ravens and Bengals to win the division. 
Bang- Ravens might edge them out because of this slow start by the Bengals. But in terms of playoffs, I think that the Bengals are better. But it is honestly, I was very close to putting the Bengals as skilled because this is a scary sight to lose to the Patriots in week one. I mean, the whole team morale is bad because they didn't pay Jamar Chase. So T Higgins, you know, is like, Oh, I'm injured. I'm not going to play. Chase is not even involved in the offense. Burrow is just like, do- doesn't even give a shit. Like nobody's, <laughs> nobody has any like confidence or anything because they didn't play or pay Chase. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know the Bengals always start off slow. I mean, the pa- they have the past few years, but what we saw yesterday against a new coach in the Patriots, that's very concerning. I, I, the Bengals obviously tried to win the game, and Joe Burrow, I, I don't know what was going on. Jamar Chase, you know, it seems like he wasn't really involved in the game too much. Maybe that's on the coaching. They don't look scary at all based on what happened yesterday. I guess they're mixing. They guess they're missing uh, Joe Mixon. Um, I, I don't know what the issue is, but they definitely don't look scary. I think they're definitely beatable. Because the Patriots had Jacoby Brissett, um, and they still found a way to to win the game. And he was—I he, think he was injured a little bit, right? He came back in the game. He was a little injured. I think it somewhere along his back. Just, the Bengals yeah, don't look scary. Crazy. On the other, yeah. On the other hand, the Ravens—they went toe to toe with the Super Bowl champions, the two-time defending Super Bowl champions, back to back. They went toe to toe with them. They could have easily won. They were yeah, like inches away, were, literally yeah, inches, yeah, literally away an winning. inch, yeah, I mean, literally an inch, exactly. And just wear white cleats next time, like, like, <laughs> right? like Mahomes said. But then, uh, yeah, yeah. So they definitely look scary. They, I think they lost this first game, but they're going to be dominant throughout the season. They're going to win like most of the games. They're going to be a tough team to beat because they have great defense, but also their offense. Um, they they know they know a lot of ways to to get in the end zone with Lamar's legs, with Likely, with Zay Flowers. They have a lot of weapons with great great backs. I think the Ravens are a dangerous team, and so. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I see a Ravens and Chiefs AFC rematch. Okay. Yeah. Um, because they're like they're that good. But the Bengals, I'm not getting that vibe at all. I know they always start slow and stuff, but I'm not gonna t- use that excuse. Okay. They look down. Def- they definitely look beatable. They lost to the oh, Patriots. Yeah. yeah, they definitely look like so lose shit. to the Patriots. I mean, I know the new yeah, coach. Yeah, new, not Belichick. New we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, he's not to dog on that. You know, he's still Mayo. Like he's a good. You know, it's just that whenever there's a changing of a head coach, new scheme, new quarterback, like they they're probably so pleased to be, have beat the Bengals with healthy Joe Burrow, you know, healthy otherwise team. It's crazy. I mean, I, I but I respect your take, John, about like long term. I think it's what we've kind of said on this podcast. At least I've said for the, on the uh, a few years. It's like they're just exposing their talisman in Joe Burrow to all this damage. And like for the t- first two weeks of the season to then be losses. And then you're catching up at the end. And then even if you catch up, expose them to another game, like they don't protect them. Like I just think fundamentally that wear and tear might get to him. I think it's, it it might have, you know, so unfortunate because this, these are big teams. Like as as I would, I agree with Jonathan, obviously like, uh, you know, Ravens are scary. Do do any of us believe if it came down to Chiefs Ravens again in the play in the championship that the Chiefs would win or the Ravens? Because I, I almost I considered that part when they were they they went toe to toe with the Chiefs and almost could have won, right? But I also saw some, I don't know, like they got to be more bold if they want to beat the Chiefs. And in that game, there's a lot of screen, a lot of like I think I texted you guys like there was a they needed like a few a yard or something to convert, and they have Derrick Henry, Lamar Jackson, and they threw a screen pass or something. Like yeah. it's just. A little think, conservative. I don't. I don't know. I think. I think it came down to Lamar, and he has to make. He has to be clutch in terms of throwing. Yeah. He, 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 missed, three, missed, he missed a lot yeah. of throws. He missed a lot of throws. Yeah. yeah. It is and, unexcusable. I, yeah. Well, it's like part of that is like the Chiefs have their numbers. So I think if it, I still think the Ravens are scary. It's just, and Jonathan, you brought up a game. It was a game of inches. They could have easily won. They have beaten them before. I was actually while I was watching that, I just remember Jonathan, your your clip of we'll have to find it of you like. <laughs> you, were, you were calling out Lamar and, and Hardball for like hugging it yeah. out after they beat them. And you're exactly, like, I got regular. so much. I just got so much crap from that in the comment. Jared also saying, "Jonathan, to, to <laughs> overcome something you haven't done in so long." I was like, "Guys, this doesn't matter. This is the second <laughs> game of the season, and him and Hardball went to hug each other like they won the Super Bowl." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and y'all do it in the playoffs, and they didn't do it. They still haven't been able to do it. I got so right. much heat from that in the comments. Somebody said, "Jonathan knows." Um, he's like Jonathan knows as much football as my grandma. Somebody said, somebody said that. Oh, I hope, I hope my kids doing well. But like, come on, I'm, I've been right. But that's kind of that, like that's a little harder verbiage than I would use. But I, like that thought was going through my head. It's like 
yeah, they beat them here in week one, but it, like, they needed to do that last year, you know, yeah. last season. Yeah. So I think, I think I agree. They're still scary. The, yeah, I think, I think with the, 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 you know, so you think they're skilled uh, still, John, the, the, the Ravens are. Yeah. Okay. I still think they're, they're still good. They're a solid team. They're going to make the playoffs. Yeah. So just more banking. Like I feel like with the skilled teams that we've picked, it's almost like banking because anyone can be beaten on any given day, but it's almost yeah. scary. Teams are like, they'll have their way and win the game versus skilled. You're kind of banking on the game of football coming down to game of inches and just going your right. way. Yeah. And maybe I, I I'm... definitely think, I mean, any of these teams, I just, for me, it's more the bangle, the extreme in this, the three pit teams here, the extreme difference between stuck and scary, I think is bigger than the, than the winners. But um, yeah, I mean, yeah. maybe I'm thinking too long term. But I also, coming down to the fourth quarter, I trust Burrow like 10 times more than I trust Lamar. So maybe that's also factoring in. It's interesting. Yeah. I, I never thought of it that way. I'm not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not moving my answer, but we literally saw Lamar in the fourth against the Chiefs, which is still a big deal of them yeah. beat. And the one open pass, and then it, he got it to likely, but then it's like, if you had the open pass, it wouldn't have gone that 